before we get into the video, I wanted to go ahead and announce the winner of last week's giveaway. The winner is Elizabeth B. She is the winner of the chemistry head wrap and t-shirt towel. Thank you guys so much for entering and I hope you enjoy the hey video. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a video over how to find your curl type. So I am going to go ahead and go over the different curl types and their descriptions. I will also have photos included for good examples. I just feel that the curl charts out there aren't always accurate, so I really wanted to go over how to figure out what type of curls or waves you have. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to go over the first type, and that is type 2 waves. So there is 2A, 2B, and 2C. 2A is very loose, it has an S shape to it. With this type of wave, it usually lacks volume and is a little bit more flat to the head. Typically, the waves start at the ear down. It is very important for this type of wavy hair to not use heavy products. So, mousses and very light creams typically are best for this type of wave. The next type of wave is 2B. So, this is a little bit more of a tighter S-shaped pattern. Usually it is flat at the crown and the S shape begins kind of mid-length. The final type of wavy hair is 2C waves. Now for these waves, they usually begin more towards the root and even tighter S shaped pattern to it. This type of wavy hair is a lot more prone to frizz than the other type two waves. Next, we are going to get into curls. So this is type three. 3A curls, I feel like, are very misunderstood in the curl community. What they are are large curls. So I consider myself to be 3A with some 2B, 2C waves mixed in. There are some girls that are 3A with 3B mixed in also. Keep in mind that it is absolutely normal to have multiple different types of curl patterns on your head. 3A is described as being their circumference of sidewalk chalk. So that means they are fat. So as you can tell, I kind of have some of those like fatter, springy curls. These actually circle around like a spiral curl would, but they're a lot more lengthened out, so they often get confused as being waves. Typically a curly with this type of curl, their hair is usually pretty straight when it is wet like a wavy would be. Next, 3B curls. 3B curls are a lot more of a spiral curl. They are described as having the circumference of a sharpie. They are also more prone to frizz and dryness. The final type 3 curl is 3C. Type 3C curls are tighter than 3B, so they have more of a corkscrew look to them. They are described as having the circumference of a pencil or a straw. They are also more likely to struggle with frizz and dryness. The final type we are going to get into is type 4. So this is more of the coily or kinky, extremely textured hair. Type 4A is S-patterned coils that have the circumference of a crochet needle. So they are very, very, very coily. Some misconceptions about type 4 hair is that it is always coarse, and that is not always the case. There are many type 4 curly girls out there that have more of a fine texture of hair that can feel very soft. The next type 4 is 4B. This is very densely packed, almost Z-shaped coils. Type 4 curly girls can usually use a lot more heavy products like butters and creams and very rich products. Their hair craves the moisture. The final type 4 is going to be 4C. 4C is described as being similar to 4B, but has less definition and more shrinkage. I hope these descriptions and photos help you determine your curl type. If you'd like to see more videos just like this one, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Also, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!